Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 match between Simply Simple um, with his Orcs and Mr. Mister with his Lizardmen. Um, we've got two Babes and a Wizard and I guess I should have said the round of 32 of season 54 of CCL, the Chalice, the final 64 player Chalice with uh, prize money thanks to DLA Piper, glorious, glorious stuff. Uh, these Orcs looking pretty nice. They've got a goblin for the one turn. The guard stand firm troll, which is pretty, pretty decent. Uh, decent black orcs there. Well, a couple of decent black orcs. A couple of rookies. Uh, decent blitzers. So yeah, a decent team. Not great, but um. You know, all, all orc teams look pretty good, right? Because they've all got guard and mighty blow and stuff. So, like, you look at them, you're like, this is a good team. And then, <laughs> it's like, I mean, it is a good team. But it's just, it's not that good for orcs, right, this team. But it's decent. It's decent. It's a decent team. It's a really nice turn one for him. Uh, is, why is everything, everything seems so, so really loud now. Yeah, I'm turn this down a little bit. Do my head in, it seems so loud. Right, anyway, um, oh wow, setting up a huge gang foul, lovely. And obviously guard to, uh, oh, he's not, he didn't have enough guard. He's not going to get the extra assist in. Oh, scared the fireball, maybe, yeah, maybe he thought if he goes in he'll get fireballed. Oh, that was pretty, that was pretty good from Nod. A lot of mad skills. Oh, that was a nice little chain there. Get an extra hit with the tackler. And it's, uh, oh god. It's not much of a Lizardman team, is it? This was the one that uh, beat Eliod in round one, but uh, paid for it with uh, death. Dead Saurus, dead Crocs, wasn't it? So he's replaced the Crocs. This might even be a Merc Crocs. And two journeymen. Oh no, it's not a Merc because he had 11, so it's not a Merc Crocs, is it? Hello, Ducky. Don't mention the Elliot game. Poor Elliot. Somebody said they thought Elliot didn't play well. And I'll be honest, it was eminently forgettable. I was just thinking, oh my god, this is so easy. But I never really analysed Elliot's play, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he didn't play well. But whether he did or he didn't, it's a bit of a shame that like one of the best teams in the cup there. Chance for Eliod to win was gone because I like Eliod, but uh, you know, I don't know that he didn't play badly. <laughs> and obviously, he's uh, he's done well in the first season of Blood Bowl three, hasn't he? So and fumble, but it would be nice to have, for him to have got a Blood Bowl two one as well, the last one. No, honestly, I wish I'd played. I wish I'd qualified now. Even if I'd gone out in the first round to <laughs> a tiny lizard man team that had no hope. And you can try and do the same as you did against Elliot, can't you? You know, use the wizard, get something to happen on defense. Just keep himself in it, play as safe as possible. Don't like not blitzing with a pommer. Huh? Oh, I guess he's got frenzy, and uh, that would lead him into it. Yeah, okay, we didn't need it quite a lot actually with having frenzy. Fair enough. 
Was that before the foul? Fair enough. Oh my god. Brutal. Oh my god. Well, don't say it's over. <laughs> But uh, that Saurus is definitely not coming back. The Apple's gone. He's down three strong boys this drive. And there's a frenzy tackle bomber available to kill all the skinks. So, uh, yep. It's pretty bad. Pretty bad for the lizards. But we counted them out against Eliod, so you never know. He gets to hit this, uh, he gets to palm the good skink now, doesn't he, if he wants. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like he's gonna 3 there. Dudley Death Drop. Makes the cage a little bit uh, very unsafe now. Of course, if he uh, hits here and then double ones the GFI, and he does hit here. So he could have he double won that GFI, and he could have double scored that hit that he re rolled, and the ball would have been very exposed. I guess it would have made absolutely zero difference if it was, but. Um, I was pretty lazy not to move the ball first. And uh, no troll early, but then later on, like Chalice, this kind of thing, then the troll is generally good. To have. Situation, right? You could still sack it against elves. If you have to. Oh, wow. Gets a Kaz from the wizard. Apple works. Yeah, that, that could be the chance he needs. The tackler is out of the way. Like That was the thing, right? It was tempting to go for this guy. But it does leave him rather exposed. And we can get both, both skinks away here on this side to cover. Oh, no, I don't, like, I don't like doing it just for the hit, right? I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want him, like, here to, like, kind of screen somehow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. I want I want him to like run out here and GFI something. Oh, so he was, he was blitzing, he was using it to assist so he could blitz, power, follow, and then screen with the Saurus. Okay, yeah, that's, that's great. Oh he dodged off tackle. Oh no. Oh no, he should have dodged with the, him. And I guess he's still in range of him. Hmm. Yeah, that's the thing you see. With like with CCL, you have this lesser known team called Chaos. <laughs> and uh, this this very uh, very obscure skill combination called Claw Mighty Blow Panning On. And uh, it's really not very good against uh, it's really not <laughs> Orcs really uh, aren't very good against that. So um the lower your TV, the less chance you have of getting obliterated by claw. Basically, if I can league, I'd have the I'd have the troll because he's a strong boy. Oh wow! And that was unlucky. That's not a lot of luck this game, Mister Mister. I think you gotta pick it up though. I think you've gotta think more about more than just maximizing blocks. I think you have to go all in. Like, you know, this guy should have based him. 
You could have even double based him. Like, if, you, if you're not going to go there and not pick it up, I don't know why you're not picking it up. I don't know. Maybe this guy's going to come out and pick it up and go here. It's gone the wrong way. Indeed, J5, indeed. It's funny, you know, there's a... Uh, I was thinking, you know, at school, like, I don't remember really anything that I learned from school and stuff, and yet I can still tell you, you know, I could still, I'm pretty sure I can reel off the... I've been baptised in my own sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Steve. The 80-point 80, 80 avatar from, like, what, 3rd edition 40k or something? I'm pretty sure I could reel off his stat line. Which is fucking tragic, isn't it? And like, I didn't try to remember it. I didn't try to remember all the Blood Bowl stats. Like, I can probably name more or less every stat from every rule set of Blood Bowl ever and stuff. And it's like... Without trying to remember them. <laughs> and then when I try to remember shit, I just can't. Ugh. It is such a waste. Such a waste of, uh... Well, everything. <laughs> so that he probably should like uh, I don't know how he's gonna hit the ball. I guess he can't. <laughs> well once <laughs> you know in <enjoy. laughs> <laughs> Oh, he does do the he does do the uphill, and it uh, it doesn't work. Well, I mean it works, but the scatter, the scatter goes. Diced. Diced. Oh, Steve with the questions. I imagine, right, it was weapon skill 10, BS 10, strength 6, toughness 6, 6 wounds, 4 attacks, leadership 10, and the only one that's dodgy is the initiative. You motherfucker, Steve. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty solid on the rest. Pretty solid on the rest. Man. Uh, it's a stat line, stat line J5. I'd be surprised if it was seven. I think it's it's probably going to be like, you know, ten to make it with the others, right? Like weapon skill ten, BS ten. So it's either going to be like initiative ten, or initiative six to go with the strength and the toughness, or it's going to be like initiative eight, because uh, that's like what it probably should have been, but I really don't know. I really, really don't know. So you got me there, Steve. My, my spurious claim. <laughs> what was the Wraith Lord? Were they only weapon skill? No, they must have been weapon skill 4, right? 4, 4, 10, 8. And then what was it? I can't remember the order when it was it wounds, initiative, attacks, leadership. So then wounds would be like Well these six wins they could six wins seems a lot, right? Don't know how many wounds Wraith Lords were. Initiative four, I'm pretty sure for Wraith Lords. Attack's a bit dodgy because I think they got an extra one for having like two hands. Mm. So there you go, not great on Wraith Lords. That's how you know a game's really good because you think about the stat line of Wraith Lords from 30 years ago. <laughs> 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 nah, 
I'm more like 25. Anyway, so the lizard stopped the score. Used the wizard. Stopped the score. Neat got close to a turnover score. Oh yeah, simply simple and Mr. Mister. That's pretty that's pretty that's pretty cool, isn't it? A pretty cool matchup. Uh but I mean that, that was a real that was a real blood like it just cost so much, didn't it? Like you've got nine players, four big guys, five little ones. So as much as it was a success. Um done eight of the sixteen so far, Demento. There's there's eleven of eleven have taken place. This is the ninth one, and then there's two to do after this. I mean, I can't, I can't tell you which games I've done. <laughs> I haven't got the foggiest clue about any of them as to who was between, you know, who they were between or anything. But um, I just know how many there've been. I have a little piece of paper with a, with a grid for who's played on, but that's all it is. Nine out of eleven. Yeah, this is the ninth. Two more after this. <laughs> oh, full at me. <laughs> Lizard men do look great, don't they, to be fair. Models wise. Yeah, I was thinking, do you do that to get the diagonal head? Maybe maybe it's not worth exposing the skin. Maybe you should have just block the air uh, crocs. Because you're still gonna have to blitz with the crocs, right? So I prefer keeping these up a little bit because this is really Really exposing the saurus, isn't it? Jugs instead of a guard. Yeah, I think he misclicked panning on. Nah, I actually don't like. I don't like panning on that much on saurus. I would rather take. Uh, honestly, I'd have rather taken. Well, you know, I still don't like juggernaut, right? So, frenzy, guard, break tackle. One of those three. Certainly not Juggernaut. Juggernaut is shit. <laughs> hey bear! <laughs> you can write you can type hey bear to everybody. <laughs> The ones who survive all sound like uh, that guy who's, uh, who's the comedian. Well, comedian's a loose term. Seth Rogen, is it? Yeah, they all sound like Seth Rogen going, Hey bear! Hey bear! <laughs> oh, wow, he's really relying on this uh, lizard man after this is man. Crocs activation, isn't he? Oh no, he's, he's got that skink there, okay. Whew. There's a TV show called Alone, and it's really, really, really good. Oh! Oh, it's really good. It's the best TV show that I've ever seen. Maybe. It's really good. Maybe, maybe one of the, uh, maybe one of the, maybe, maybe that fucking one with the shinobi and the dodgeballs is better. That was really good. <laughs> fucking shinobi. <laughs> shinobi dodgeball is a great TV. I just don't even know the remember that. Remember the name of that one. I really like Alone. I guess the problem with the, uh, there's a bit of, there's a bit of like background bollocks, but there's not too much of it. The best shows where you don't hear about all their bloody sob stories and all their families and all this crap. I 
Reroll down, two each. I think the, I think the Orcs have got to be confident here, you know, even though they're down this blitzer. It's uh, down two big guys for the Lizards. It's brutal, isn't it? But they do have the speed, so you never know. No, it's yeah, reality. Yeah, they just they just drop them in Canada, and uh, and they have to they have to survive in the wilderness alone. And yeah, a lot of them see a bear, shit their pants, and run away. Which you may think's fair. Because, you know, maybe a lot of us would do the same, but also they signed up they signed up to the bloody show, didn't they? So. Yeah. But I wouldn't I wouldn't sign up to a show <laughs> or I'm dropped off <laughs> alone in the wilderness <laughs> with bears. <laughs> I think it's one of those things there where, like, you know, the people signing up are probably like, yeah, I can survive in the wilderness. Because, like, you obviously need, like, a certain amount of competency to, like, you know, fires and food and all that kind of crap. And they probably think, yeah, I'm capable. I'll sign up to this. But it's one thing thinking that, and it's one thing, like, just literally seeing a bear and realising if it wants to kill you, it can kill you. <laughs> it's pretty... <laughs> it would be pretty... Uh... I think it's fair. I think it is fair enough. To be fair. Another foul. Need some good fouls from the orcs. And there, with there's another one. Fouls are just OP, aren't they? Basically, like if you if if they roll well, they're so overpowered. It's weird, right? Like as and fouling's kind of encouraged in in Blood Bowl 2020. I think that's why. It's a bit s swingier than that. Uh, yeah, uh, so for this game, the winner gets $25, at least. For winning alone, they get $500,000. Uh, and there's 10 of them. And you, you've got no contact with the other people and stuff. And you only know when like the last person gives up, or when the second last person gives up. Is when the the other one wins. Yeah, so it's pretty it's pretty wild, like you know, you could just be there for like three months or whatever, or six months if the other one wouldn't give up. But I, I think with like winter and stuff, it can't go on for much longer than ninety days. Really good show though. Really good show. Really nice. Can he base the ball? I can see the point of getting this guy forward, but I don't know. They're all about five miles away from each other and they're probably not allowed to meet even if they could. Touch him. See if this had break tackle instead of uh, juggernaut. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. That's probably better just to do the four plus. Yeah, I like, I like going for. Oh, he's not going for it. Oh, okay. Oh, this one's free. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, he really needed one more spell, didn't he? Oh no, he's yeah. Okay, this is quite good. God, I'm fucking half asleep, honestly. I'm absolutely half asleep. This is a. Uh the worst cast ever. Mm. I think I prefer him going here. But... Oh dear. No, oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Though people have built boats, boats before. So. 
Nobody's built an elytra yet, but uh, we have built both. Killed him. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. I killed him. This is pretty good from the from the lizards though. I I'm probably gonna be forced to score next turn. But maybe not. Yeah, exactly, tier 5, yeah. TV shows tend to have these unwritten rules, like, unbroadcasted rules. Like, I always thought I'd do well on Countdown, because if you don't know count Countdown, I don't know, do they have it in America, maybe? There's a TV show called Countdown, where, um, beloved by students in the UK, where... There's like, there's word, letters rounds and numbers rounds. And the numbers rounds, you have to do sums, like in your head. And I'm brilliant at that. But I'm terrible at the letters rounds where you have to like make numbers out of a selection. You have to make words out of a selection of letters. But I thought I just wouldn't choose any vowels, right? And I would just learn all the all the words that are made only from consonants, right? And just and never pick any vowels. And I thought this was a pretty I thought it was a really good strategy. You could just like you could just learn them all, right? And uh, but then it turns out there's an unbroadcasted rule that you have to pick like at least three vowels or something out of like nine letters or whatever. But yeah, like you know, things like Trist, isn't it? You know, like all the ones with Y's in, basically. Like, there's loads with Y, isn't it? Where I like Y acts like a vowel. So I thought if you just learn all of those, right? So three turns for the orcs. Otherwise, he's out. <laughs> yeah, no random skills in uh, Blood Bowl Two, though you'd be forgiven for thinking there were <laughs> sometimes. This is brutal cars, man. Brutal cars. This is going to be difficult to stop. Maybe you should have gone even further back. Because they, these can still get tagged out easily, right? So maybe, uh, and there's three turns. Mm -hmm. yeah, but there's three turns, so maybe this should be in cost. I don't know. Sloth Vomit. Great name. Jump up skinks. Some people like jump up skinks. Uh, I don't because I tend to find when everyone's knocked over, he's dead. But like you know, it can be good sometimes, right? Rick had a jump up skink. I remember doing things. But um, yeah, I mean, I would have gone sprint or sure feet. Hey, help with a one turn. The one turn is a powerful tool. I really don't like hitting with a blitzer. I want the blitzers upfield, but he's just not really trying to score. He's got three blitzers, and the furthest forward one is two squares in. And I know he's got time. I know he's got time. But um, I still like getting forward a bit more. Yeah, there's a few, there's a few like that, dearly. There's a few like that. Rather funnily, there are a few like that. Hmm. That seems really weird. I would have just kept it the way it was, or it maybe even gone back, right? Because, because Mr. Mister has tried so hard to not get anybody forward. <laughs> or like, at least screen this guy, right? He can get tagged out, he's got a screen. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, Flapfire. I mean, Flapfire is still the best troll name, if you ask me. Oh, Pedro. 
He's got to get some of these flippers forward, hasn't he? Another Kaz. Oh my god. Ah yes, yeah, yeah. I've I've noticed that in a few games as well, Dementor. I will block that ball because <laughs> I will do the same and block that. Um, but yeah, yeah, I remember that sort of thing in games before. Yeah. Ooh. Fails the handoff, so he's only got two scoring threats, and one can be blitzed, and one can have a strength five sat on him. Maybe, maybe you re-roll that right to power. I think you'd bun him on both, wouldn't you? Balls on the ground here. You can easily get it to this guy. It's, re it's hard. Maybe the best thing was to go and just pick up the ball, right? I know he failed it, but... I think he was going. He was going there, wasn't he? I think he was here, so he was going here. One, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Seven, eight, and then he could have punted it. So that's probably why he didn't re-roll the hit because he was going to re-roll the punt, like the pickup of the punt. So three, three to get it to OT. Oh, is it accurate? So it was a two, three. And he's in. And I mean, don't say it's over. But I mean, there was there was a chance of it not being over, right? The uh, the lizards could have defended and won one nil, but they're not going to win an OT. Not with this. <laughs> they win the toss the lizards. They've got six players. I mean, maybe right? They can sideline cage. Maybe. Maybe they can sideline cage. There you go, it's not over. It's not over! Strength 5 can blitz the, uh, can blitz the edge, right? One, one Saurus can base all three on the OS. I'll just do that with him. I guess, yeah. You just, you know, don't care. If you get blitzed, you get blitzed. Yeah, and go this side because the tackle is that side. Yeah, I quite like this. Pretty brutal kickoff. I don't think you do that. I think you commit to the plan and just leave him here totally exposed, right? Yeah, I don't like this. I think you leave this skink back here totally exposed and you still commit to the plan and just, uh, you know, accept that you're going to have to uh, double GFI hand off him next time. Because you're only going to get this done. If you get it done super quickly, I think. This is a Dakar, yeah. As much as I love Dakars, Dakaring with Saurus <laughs> and only six players in total. I mean, maybe it'll work. I hope it will. You can't turtle. The problem is, like, you can't turtle because your, your lizard men just aren't mobile. Right? Like, your Saurus aren't mobile. So you can't turtle. You just, you just can't because they just tag them out. But he's not he's not going forward this turn, is he? I guess he's he can afford to be patient, like. Yeah. I mean I think six elves would be dacking okay, right? If this was like if this was two war dancers and like two high elf 
two uh, two wood elf catchers and two linos, then maybe they can daka, right? If it's if it's high elves with like three catchers, two blitzers and a lino, maybe they could daka. Maybe, but um, I'd still try and quick score, right? When when you can score quickly, because you can score quickly, right? I would try and score quickly. Um, like the game's over, you score quickly. So I, I do think it's correct to put everything in to try and score quickly. Yeah, not really, not really pressuring very hard here at all. But I guess he does have plenty of time. Yeah, the Soros. Yeah, yeah, with. With lizard men, I just think they can't. It's just too easy to just tack off the swords. Leave this guy back. This is pretty terrible from the uh, orcs, I think. Well, is terrible too much? Yes, it is. Terrible is too strong, but also, I don't think it's very good at all from the orcs. This is actually somewhat looking... This is looking a bit... A bit hopeful for the lizards, actually, isn't it? If he remains narrow, and he can't, he can't tag the saurus. You know, then he gets into the point where you blitz with a saurus and scoop past sideline cage, and you can scoop past them. This looks, this looks doable. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Sim simply simple and Mister Mister. Yeah, the the names are pretty good. Daka mentality, yeah, yeah. Yeah, may maybe the Daka was right in the end. So now this guy goes one, two, three, four, five. Right, he can blitz. He can blitz there, and then he can get up through here. He can get down there, and you've got a sideline cage, and then obviously he crashes into the in the cage, and he runs back, and you're completely fucked. But um, you know, at least you can pretend there was a chance. <laughs> yeah, the old, the old two turn simple things. Oh, so now that he's got him there, you can strength five blitz this one. So the fact that he has more over this side, I guess there is a blitzer here. I'm kind of tempted to do the strength five blitz here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then you've got more here. Using this guy to blitz isn't very good because then this guy isn't doing anything. So I'd rather blitz with this guy. To get more penetration from that guy. There is kind of a chance, yeah. Like, he's gonna get shut down brutally next turn. But... Yeah, exactly, Ducky. That's the thing, because the. I, I, I like I like Mr. Mr. not going for it last turn, because the fact that they didn't do it that last turn made me think maybe they'll do it again this turn. And if they do it again this turn, then it's obviously better, because you get to scoot past them better, don't you? You do get to scoot past them better. Ooh, I think maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe base that up Black Orc there. And then maybe the skink should have like double dodged or something here to here, something like that. Or maybe tag out the uh, troll, coming stand firm there and strength five. Strength five guard stand firm is pretty annoying, isn't it? So. Oh, the problem is even when you go for this. He should do a decent job of shutting you down. Well, the good thing is, uh, this fella has um, Juggernaut, so... That will be invaluable for him. So you can you can lob it to this guy, right? You can be free. 
Maybe even hand it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G, five, G. This guy should have been one over, right? This guy should have been one over. So you could have handed off to him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. Or this guy should have had a. Oh no, you can. If I thought it was this guy for a second, the guy who had a jump up. So yeah, if you if if he was one over, you'd given him you'd given you'd given yourself the option of handing off to him, and then uh, then he goes up and he's away, isn't he? He can't get caught. So that that's the play, I think. Might do it, just pass. Yeah, he goes for the pass, that's really hard with skins. I double one it anyway. Hmm. Oh, well, I, well, I liked it. I liked it a lot more handing it off, right? I liked it a lot more handing it off. Making it a 4 4 is obviously a lot worse than a, just a 4, but I liked it. I like that he, you know, I like the player. I think he did the right thing because he did the same thing as what I thought. So, <laughs> must I'm not saying it must have been good because I thought, but you know, it's, it is. I liked it. That's all I can say, isn't it? All I can say is what I liked or didn't like. Not, not what's optimal. No idea what's optimal. Yeah, if you're gonna do the pass, then there's a, then there's an argument for just throwing to him and like, but then the, the extra minus one is brutal. And if like you go down the sidelines, a bunch of dodges, and you only get to there, like you're six plusing it, it's really really shit pass. I guess he could just dodge further in front, couldn't he? So yeah, I guess if you're gonna pass to him, you dodge him. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point actually. If you're gonna pass to him, you just dodge him first, on yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a, that's totally fair actually. So I liked my play if it was a handoff, but uh, with it not being a handoff, maybe it was best to just dodge him off and then dodge through and then pass to him ahead somehow. Yeah, another snake. No, didn't get the dice this game, did he, Mr. Mister? It was a... Uh, it was a bit of a dicing. The team absolutely ruined what what there was of it. It was absolutely mangled. Oh, it's in the end zone! And it's Mr. Throw with movement six. Wins the game for the Orcs. Amazing. Was, yep, really good effort from Mr. Mr. Uh, you know, like like the first round, obviously he won the first round, but you know, it was similarly brutally uphill and uh, you know, did his best, battled. Battled every step of the way. And, uh, yep, yeah, great performance from Mr. Mr. Commiserations to him. Congratulations to Simply Simple. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.